bat coming clean. I have to tell you, tell you, I am a selfish man. Yes, you heard it right. I am admitting it. I am a selfish man. But that comes with a catch. I am also a self. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today I have to start off right off the bat, coming clean. I have to tell you, tell you, I am a selfish man. Yes, you heard it right. I am admitting it. I am a selfish man. But that comes with a catch. I am also a selfless man. So there's two very far ends of the spectrum, and we're going to dive into it today. The difference between selfish and selfless as a man, as a husband, a father, a leader, and a man here on the Steve Eckert Show podcast, which you know is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business. So you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms, all while you create your own personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. So we're talking about selfish first versus selfless. Now, most men, and I deal with men on a daily basis in, in both my OTD one-on-one, one-on-one high-end coaching, and also the Freak Father Alliance, the men's mentorship group coaching program. I deal with thousands of men per year and then tens of thousands of men. If you add in all the events and where I go speaking throughout the year on stages and everything else, and most men fall on one of the far extreme ends of the spectrum of selfish or selfless. And what we need to do is blend those together where they collide and crash and mold into how you should be operating for the most part as a man. And where those two things collide, I call it self-symmetry. So we don't want to be overly selfish. We don't want to be overly selfish or selfless. They combine together. You do need to have both of these. Now, you need to be self selfish enough to be able to take care of yourself and your foundational needs so that you have the ability and the capability and you're enabled to be able to then be selfless so that so that you could take care of your people. So you're being selfish enough so that you can be selfless with your people, with your community, with your friends, your family, your spouse, your kids. Now, you're, you, some men, this is where men get it wrong. They're going too far. They say, okay, I know I'm supposed to be the, the leader and I have to take care of myself so that I could take care of these other people. So I'm going to go all in on taking care of myself, my self-mastery. And they go so far on the end of the spectrum of selfish that it, they end up neglecting the people that they say that they were doing it for and they don't, they, they're kind of blind about the fact, well, no, I'm doing all this for myself to be a better man. And so I'm going to be a better man so I can show up as a better man, but they don't have that self-symmetry. They're missing the selfless part. Like we're talking about the, the guy that is working extra and working overtime to make more money, to be a provider, to, to create those memorable experiences for the family. But in the process of making that money, he's neglecting the family or he's going to the gym six days a week to do his lifting, but then he's also going to jujitsu class, but he's also training for a marathon. So he's running 10, 15, 20 miles a week, but then he also needs a guy's night out because he needs to decompress. Then when he gets home, he needs the time for himself and the self care and needs to go get a massage and also needs time for reading and meditation. And he goes overboard on all this shit. Yes. Most of those or some of those to some degree are needed depending on the situation, but he goes so deep on all that, that all his time is engulfed in himself. And we've talked about it in the past that a man's significance is dependent on something outside of himself. So it's impossible for you to find operate according to your purpose and this higher calling as a man, as a husband, as a father, if you are completely selfish. And I think this is part of why there's the, the falling apart of the, the, the family and the homes in this country it's because men have gotten so selfish. We always were just worried about themselves and it affects 
everything else. And it's even to the point where now men are not even wanting to get married or have kids because they've been so conditioned to be selfish that the selfless is not even on the the fucking radar. It's just a whole end to end of selfish. Now let's go to the other far end of the spectrum and C is, is what is the opposite? All right. Now there's the man who's Mr. Nice guy and He's just on the other end where he's now saying, you know what? I'm the, supposed to be the man. I'm supposed to put everyone above myself and put everyone, since my significance is dependent on something outside of myself, I'm going to only focus on everything outside of myself. And in the process, I'm going to neglect myself. That's too far on the end of the selfless spectrum. That's Mr. Nice Guy that's just worried about what everyone thinks about him. And, and he neglects himself and puts himself last all the time. Now, Make no mistake about it, as a husband, as a father, as a leader, as a man, there are many times where you need to sacrifice and be selfless and put yourself last, put other people above you. But that's taking into account that you've already taken care of those foundational selfish needs so you can deal with putting others above yourself in certain situations because you're hardened for it, you're conditioned for it, you're built for it because you've put in the time, you've put in the work, you've had the habits, the daily disciplines, the non-negotiables, that you're able to do that. This doesn't mean you don't sacrifice. There's, there's that somewhere in that self-synergy is the discernment of sacrifice. Like you have to discern, all right, how much do I sacrifice? How much do I need to sacrifice of myself for these other people? I can't sacrifice it all. I can't sacrifice nothing. So self-synergy is, is that blending of the, sac- of the discernment of how much sacrifice do I need to have as a man? And in order to, you need to be self-ish enough so that, and that's how you can be of service to your people and serve them. It's a disservice if you are not taking care of yourself first so you can take care of them. If, if you're on that far end of selfless and you're not taking care of your own needs first as a foundation, you're showing up as a weaker, half ass man and not taking care of your people as well as you can be. And so this, this is, that's how you can provide for them, protect them, be there, be ready, be present, be intentional, be freaking focused. That's what self-synergy is. That's where they both combine. You're going to be lacking all those things if you're on two far ends of the spectrum. You're not a fully capable and present man if you are completely selfless and putting everyone above yourself because you're not operating at your highest potential, your high, you according to your superpowers, you are neglecting yourself, whether it's your time, your sleep, your energy, your health and fitness and wellness and your own happiness and fulfillment, just because this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be the, the sacrificer because I'm the leader, because I'm the husband, I'm the father, and that's what fathers do. We sacrifice, which is true, but you've got to have that kind of discernment of how much to sacrifice have to drive that home so we don't get lost in the mix between these two because it is a a crazy spectrum as a man because and when it when it starts off on this back to the selfish side you are your most important client you are the most important person in your life now you say no my kids come first my 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 wife comes first my team comes first my community comes first that's too far on the end of the selfless you need to be your most important client and then maybe your family and your kids are right a close second behind that but you need to be your most important client so that you're capable of showing up as the strong fierce man that's able to provide and protect and lead and father your family and father, your community and show up as a type of man, the flame keeper with intentionality with a per- as a purpose driven man. And then back to the selfless side, you have to think, all right, the mission over the man, I have to put the mission over myself, mission accomplishment in the Marine Corps. The number one leadership objective was mission accomplishment over troop welfare and over self welfare. It was mission accomplishment. That doesn't mean you didn't take care of yourself. You're taking care of yourself so you can focus on the mission. It's assuming you've already taken care of yourself and your daily discipline and your foundations and the basics and fundamentals, the non-negotiables. We've done episodes on all these different things, so go back and check them. But this is what self-symmetry is. 
It's the discernment of how much sacrifice between selfish and selfless, where they combine, where they co collide. And that is the self-mastery of man. Because again, we are dependent on our significance, for our significance on something outside of ourselves. This requires, this self-synergy requires us to have self-government and self-awareness, to be self-reliant and have self-command, but also self-control and self-restraint and self-regulation so that we're not stuck on either end of that spectrum. We don't want to be neglecting our people by being selfish. We don't want to neglect ourselves by being overly selfless. We need to find that middle area, that blending, that self-symmetry. This is where, where the, the, the sweet spot of responsibility and accountability and countability. So there's account, there's responsibility. It's this area of self-symmetry where, it, where it's combined together has responsibility. That's the, what, what, the, what you are uh, responsible for. What is expected of you is your responsibility. Then accountability is answering for what is expected of you. And then countability is being someone who's able to be counted on and relied on for what's expected of you and for holding yourself accountable. So it's responsibility, accountability, and countability is where the, where the selfless and the selfish meet in that self-symmetry area. This is where it's a difference between the selfish is, is just hungry and the selfish is humility and those combined with just happy, a, a blending and it makes you happy to focus on yourself enough, focus on other people enough and they combine together that humility and hungry leads to happy. It's where the boldness and bravery combine together to be the beast of a man that you're meant to be. Now, all of this stuff to say, okay, I'm not going to be so selfish, but also I'm going to be selfless and put other people by myself. This requires a lot of a man to subdue your ego, to do it for the team, do it for the family, not just for yourself, but also to do it enough for yourself. That's a big, that's a, a lot to take on to figure out. But again, you, it needs to start off with you being your most important client who I need to make sure I schedule the, the training session for over all the clients and the coaching sessions for and the personal development for overall and who I need to make sure their mindset is right and keep them strong and energetic and healthy is myself before anyone else. Because those are foundational selfish needs that are going to make me be enabled and capable of being selfless. So now I could go put the mission above the man. Go take care of the team after I've taken care of these things, after I've owned my day and dominated my day and taken care of what I need to take care of so I can show up as a strong, healthy, savage motherfucker for the people who need me, the people who are relying on me to lead them, to be the one. This self-symmetry is basically saying you are, you're going to be the one, the flame keeper on overwatch at all times of your people, of your family, of your spouse, of your kids, of your community, of your neighborhood, of the world. This is what we're talking about. This is the self-symmetry. Basically getting your own shit in order so that you can perform at an optimal, optimal level to positively affect, help, and lead, and freaking inspire your people and everyone around you. Because there's no sense in building that empire on the selfless side if you freaking die in the process of building it because you neglected yourself. But there's also no sense in building the empire of yourself if you are killing everything that you're claiming you do it for. That's where the self-symmetry, that's where the freaking magic of man happens is this self-symmetry with that balance and the discernment of sacrificing because without first taking care of yourself, you're useless to those around you and you'll probably drag them down. You'll probably lead them improperly, incorrectly. Take care of yourself as priority number one. And if you want some 
help in getting this dialed in and locked in, I want you to go to freakmode40.com. It's a completely free $200 course that I'm offering to you right now just for being a, a listener of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. It's a Freak Mode 40. It's a daily discipline, habit, and accountability challenge that will help you lock all this in, which will literally throughout those 40 days in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business, it's going to Dial all that in so you are blending it all together and having that self-symmetry, that perfect exact amounts of sacrifice in order to be selfish enough so that you can be selfless enough to lead your people, your family, and your team. So go to freakmode40.com. It's all part of the Freak Father Alliance Men's Mentorship Group Coaching Program where I help entrepreneurs, fathers, and men develop a no-excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning, and finally start attacking their mission to create their ideal lifestyle with time freedom for their families. And that's exactly what this self-symmetry is all about, creating that time freedom for your families and your ideal freak freedom lifestyle as a husband, a father, a leader, and a man. So go to Freak Mode 40. I'll put the link down below in the description and also I'll pin a comment. So you have complete access. It's 40 days free, a full $200 course. Click the link and I wanna hear your thoughts about this this two ends of the spectrum between selfish and selfless. I want to hear what sides you've been stuck on in the past, what your experience has been like, and then I want to hear how the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit and Accountability Challenge is going for you. It's completely free. Check the link down there below in the description and in the pinned link in the comment section. I will see you next time on the Steve Ecker Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are freaking awesome. No excuses.